What's up guys? So a couple of people have asked me what mods have I actually got in my Fiesta and the quick answer is not very many. I have a couple of cosmetic mods and I have a couple of actually functional mods. So I'll just take you through them briefly now. So in here inside the cabin I have one small change and it is down beside the pedals. So this is it. This is what you would call a dead pedal. Now as standard down here you have a footrest which is just covered in the same carpet that you have um, in the rest of the foot area. And that's fine but you can see that this mat that I have here which is a proper Ford Fiesta mat actually just cuts it off at this point so it would that bit of carpet would get all dirty and worn after resting your foot on it for a while so I had a guy called Eric over in America make me this dead pedal or right well I think he make, he makes them I think he makes them to order um, either that or he just keeps a very small stock of them but uh, he makes them and they're really really good that it's a solid piece of metal with dimples. I modified it then to put the, this red ST background in the logo because as standard um, that he sends over it's just um, cut out but I think it looks pretty cool and that that's cosmetic and kind of functional as well. So the rest of what we have is under the bonnet so I will take you out there now. So under here, there are a couple of cosmetic ones. First one we see here is the oil cap. Now this is an aluminium oil cap made by Boomba Racing, and this just replaces the, the black plastic one and does the same job, but it just looks a little nicer. And matching that then, over here we have the battery tie down also in the same red aluminium from Boomba Racing. Now the standard that comes on UK Fiesta STs um, that's different from certainly the American market is the battery tie down in America is very similar to this here. It's just a simple piece of metal but in the UK it actually is like a claw that goes right over the back of the battery. Now that was kind of a bit of a pain to take off, I actually had to take out the battery negative here and disconnect the battery negative to get the claw up and off, um, but it was, wasn't too bad and I think it looks pretty good. So those are just really cosmetic changes, they didn't enhance anything. Uh, what we do then have is, you can't see it, but the sticker tells you so that there is, I've put in a KNN high flow air, air high flow air filter which they claim 30, 40, 30 to 40 percent increased airflow as far as I know and similar increases uh, in airflow from the Munchen silicone air intake hose but it's wider and whatever the surface on the inside is gives better airflow so just a slight modification to the intake and that is actually it. I do have a couple of mods planned for the future. Uh, probably more intake stuff, um, including up here, the crossover pipe that leads down into the turbo. A lot of intake systems that you get, including the mountain stuff, does not actually replace that, uh, which seems a bit strange to me because you'd think if you're gonna remove the restrictive nature of the stock air intake, you need to change it from end to end. But not very many manufacturers offer this. A couple do over in the States, but not so much over here. There is, however, one available I found from Pro Alloy who actually make the air box for a mountain and they do one, it's I think a touch under 300 UK pounds so that is a quite a strong consideration amongst other things 
And of course, if I do plan to go ahead with those, I will video it to keep you updated. And if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. If you like what I've done, give it a wee thumbs up and subscribe for more. Cheers. Bye.